Race two is the William Hill Handicap Hurdle. This is a 0 to 132 minor, all four year olds and up. And at the top, we've got first date for David Hooley, Regal Mount, Martin Leedham, the Joke Shop, David Robertson, Building Bridges, Joshua Sutherland, and Clown, Graham Clutterbuck, Sherry Out, Craig Beckwith, Holy Remedy, Derek Hinton, and Pex Hill, Jim Harrison. So, no Leon in this again, and Joshua will be. Looking for the opportunity to extend his lead even further, I would think. And called in and away. Used to be small field for this handicap hurdle, which attracts quite a few in real life, but it's Building Bridges who's gone on into the lead. On the grey regal mount as they get to the first, which they're all safely over in the joke shop. Jumped up alongside the early leader Building Bridges, but that one has now regained the initiative and has kicked on again. As we Saw last week and was confirmed for us in the forums. Josh has got a lot of front runners this season. It's not by accident, it would seem. And beware. But these leads that are given of five or six lengths are seldom recovered. So if they're finished like this, don't blame me. He's blaming you, building bridges in the lead. Blame your jockey for letting the Dennis the Menace colours get just that little bit too far in front, which it looks like. It's potentially going to happen in this one. And this building bridge is opened up by six lengths. To Pex Hill in second. The Joke Shop in third. Clowns in fourth. Of course, the thing that the rest of us can cling on to with hope is that if they keep winning by all, making all the running and winning by a long march, they'll get, eventually get so far up the handicap they won't be able to get any races. But I think some of the top trainers have got that problem already. As they get over a third, and building bridges. Is the clear leader eight lengths back to Clown in second, and then share it out and Pex Hill. We have the joke shop. Let's take it over the fourth. The Grey Regal Mount wide on the track, and the one who struck it at the back is Holy Remedy, just a couple of lengths off the rest of them. We're giving the hurry up. It's Building Bridges who's got the lead. Here it is, second, first date, third, then Clown and Regal Mount, Joke Shop, Pex Hill, and a gap to Holy Remedy. Or well, Derek Hinton, who started his new tipping tournament this week. Dell's Double is a true Hollywood bet as they get over the fifth. In fact, you've got to try and predict a tri cast in two races. I'd just try and predict the winner in one, let alone the tri cast in two. We'll talk about that later in the week or later in the day as we head down towards the third last. Building Bridges has got the lead then over the third last in front. Only two lengths clear though now from Sheridan out in second. Then the joke shop is third. First date is four. Then Regal Mount after that one. Clown is trying to run on. I think we can forget Pex Hill and Holy Remedy then. I'm going to play a part in the finish. But Building Bridges continues to lead. But first date, the top weight is now coming through to challenge. Back in third, the great Regal Mount and Sheridan out disputing third with between the two of them. The Clown trying to run on. The joke shop is on the inside. They're racing down towards the final two flights. And as they Get over the second last. They land together these leaders, but first date might just be going best. Building bridges. What's he got left to give? Back in third is Regal Mount. They come down towards the final float. Then there, and it's first date in the lead from Building Bridges in second. First date lands in front. Building bridges done second. He's starting to get back up on the inside, but first date responds and pulls away and into the final furlong. It's first date who's now two lengths clear and he's going to take this one for David Hooley, cementing his position in third place in the trainer's tight table and first. Date takes it. First date, the winner, William Bridges, and Clown, third, share it out for the joke shop, Pex Hill, Regal Mad, and finally, Holy Remedy. So the big guns firing early on in week four as David Hooley takes this on the first date. So he's the third ranked trainer, and he's had a winner. The top ranked trainer, Joshua Sutherland, has had a winner, and I don't think we've seen anything from Leon or Darren yet. So Interesting, I think loads of us battling out for fifth have been beaten into submission in every race so far. Well, we've only had two. First date, they went off for David Early, Building Bridges second, Joshua Sutherland, Clan Grand Critical third, Sharon out, Craig Beckwith was fourth, and the fifth to finish was the joke shop for David Robertson.